So I'll tell you a little story. I was having an interaction with someone. And as you may not know, or may know, I'm really passionate about coaching. Really? You might know. I've not. No, hmm. I've never noticed this about you before. You might so know. I've never noticed this. So anyway, I was having a meeting with someone. And it was really, just really, it was a really subtle, well, it was a really, they were, they were really kind, actually, start talking about coaching and start to think about, I want to implement coaching in wherever I am at this point in, in, in time in my life. You know, I, I really want it to work. I can get a bit impassioned. And sometimes, and Lee's experienced this, and I mentioned on the podcast before, Lee's experienced this impassionment. And actually, Lee, I mean, Lee does it himself well sometimes. We all do it if we're really passionate about something. And anyway, go on, Lee, you're going to say something. Did you say no, something? No, 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 no. I was, oh. I was I was agreeing through my eyes with you, Joe. Oh, okay, I thought I heard something, and <laughs> um, and we was having this conversation, and it got onto the subject of coaching, and of course I was helping out, I was delivering some deliverables for them as a stakeholder, and we got on the subject of coaching, and we talked about what a coaching culture looks like and all that, and I was thinking, yes, we need to do this, and we should be doing this, and we really need to sort of measure the coaching, and I was almost assuming that they didn't know really about coaching and I'll reflect on this conversation. And they turned around to me and they said this, they said, I'm actually a, an accredited coach. And I went, oh, shit. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> like I was, whoa, I was, whoa. Yeah. Note for the record, Jose Noya yeah. has sworn I, yeah, I, there. I, I like want to be real. I, I like want to be it. real about I it. Encourage I encourage Yeah, I want to be real about it because... That's where I assumed, and I, and that's the thing that a danger point for me is that when I hear people talk about coaching, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost let, seem to go to people don't really sort of they're not really you know in the circles sometimes that that you know sometimes I'm I'm saying things that people already know and I'm not aware that they're doing that and that's what I need to be aware of. So I want to share that learning with everybody that we should really be, and when they really be open to that, and when they said that, I immediately stopped talking about it. Said, oh, that's brilliant, you know, and I did, and I said that's fantastic, and then we had a good conversation about. How, how we could you know could do it better, um, wherever we are, right? So that was a case in point, and and I think when I went to that, that I did, and I didn't really know much about them. I, well, the thing is, actually, I did know a bit about them because when they first came to the to the business that I work for, I gave them a rundown on the expertise that I had, not in coaching, but in another area of the business that I have expertise, and Lee knows what it is, and so I explained how that industry works, and so I think what I've done, and it's a bit of a self reflection itself that I've assumed because. They weren't aware of the information there that I've assumed um, a lack of knowledge in other areas, which I was totally wrong about. So that's what we've got to be very careful. So that's what I'd say um, on that point. So that sort of comes up with that, that, that piece of discussion that we can really assume when we can be a real danger point and it can really disrupt relationships. And I, and I really did make an effort after that to, you know, to really engage because I didn't want to, this person's a really nice person as well. And, and they're very on point with people development. So, I want to maintain the relationship. So in the end, it was a great relationship. And actually today, I did deliver a session to their stakeholders and I'm waiting for some feedback. So I'm helping them deliver. So what I want to do is continue to build that relationship, invest in that emotional bank account. But that could have easily become an unslip if I wasn't aware of that in that moment. So when someone says that to you, you really need to step back and really start to own that and go, oh, okay, great. So that's what I just say on that, Lee. I don't know. I think that was a, a little bit of a story that's happened to me very recently. And I think it's important to share the lessons. So... Uh -huh.